It is a day where differences are supposedly set aside, as the country comes together to remember service and sacrifice. At the National Memorial Arboretum, the Princess Royal joined the annual armistice ceremony. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And at the stroke of 11, across the UK, people took their places and stood in silence. Reeds then placed at memorials. And among the names now on the National Memorial Wall, Corporal Matthew Farrer, who served with the RAF. He died last May, leaving a wife and two young children. So, so honoured that his name's there and it's somewhere that we can come to pay our respects to everybody, but then also pay our respects to Matt as well. They say that it takes a village and I think we've found out that we've definitely got a small city going on in our favour. So, yeah, we're just surrounded by so much love and pride and honour. At the Cenotaph in central London, the Western Front Association, in tribute to those who gave their lives in the First World War. Remembrance Day brings sombre reflection, but also tight security, and this heightened police protection now in place across the weekend and into Remembrance Sunday, when the King, senior royals and political leaders will gather here. Protests cast a shadow on the day, but didn't stop the ceremonies and resolve of those who'd come to remember. Laura Bundock, Sky News.